Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Amfrost by HD here, and I am bringing you back with another TU14 update video. And this time, it is going to be on Anvils, as they recently have been confirmed by Forger Studios and two screenshots that they tweeted out. So, just to make an anvil, you need three iron blocks and four iron ingots, as so. Put in a crafting table with three iron blocks at the very top, one iron ingot in the middle, and then three iron ingots at the very bottom. And you see, that gives me an anvil. So pretty much what an anvil is, it's a, it's the thing that can repair your tools, it can rename your tools, and it can add enchantments to your tools or any other block in the game. So as you see, if I put a iron pickaxe in there with the feature C2 and I want to repair it, and if I want to repair that so I can don't lose that enchantment on that pickaxe, you need to put some related into there, like in another iron pickaxe, or as you see that works, or if I put some iron ingots in there, that also works. So. If I put the iron pickaxe in there, as you see, it fully repairs it back to efficiency 2, and it costs 7 enchantments levels. So, levels that you get from mob spawning, farming, it will cost you that, because you're repairing a really valuable tool. Which you can do it for blocks, and or armor, works for anything in the game you can add enchantments to with an anvil. So, if say, like if I use this an iron ingot, it's going to take more iron ingots to repair it more. Because as you see, an iron pickaxe is three iron ingots and not just one. So if this was more downgraded, like right here in the middle, it would take a lot of iron ingots to fully repair it to full use. As with iron pickaxes, it wouldn't take as much. So if I want to rename it to just iron picks, as you see, it renames it for 14 enchantment cost levels, and it's named iron picks and efficiency too. And it works the same from armor. As you see, if I had this with a level on it or a enchantment on it and I had another diamond chest player or diamond in there it would repair it but this time when I add an enchantment to it so if I put a diamond chest plate in the left slot and an enchanted book in the right spot spot, I put protection 3 in there you can rename it to um, it would be a protection 3 diamond chest, chest plate and you can rename it to whatever you want for more levels so it would be 12 levels if I rename it a diamond chest plot and it's protection 3 so that's really really useful I mean if you want to repair your tools like if you have a diamond tool with efficiency 4 on breaking 3 and like silk touch or something like that something really really crazy now with the anvil you can repair that rename it so it would be cool for adventure maps if you need to rename it and you can also use it with the regular blocks if I just want to put protection on a regular block projectile protection I could so wait did I not get it projectile protection right there so I put that right here, and I can do it for two levels, make it cobblestone projectile protection, which is pretty useless, but if you wanted to, you could be like, hey, look up here, friends, look what I have enchantment on the cobblestone, and be like, whoa. And also, you can put anything on there. So if I put back this iron picks in there, I can stack it on with more enchantment. So if I want protection too, for some reason, on my iron pickaxe, which it doesn't do anything, but if you wanted it, you can do it for six levels, which is going to cost more because it's more effective. So like... If I come in here and if I broke this down by mining some stuff and I put it in here with the iron pickaxe and whenever this is broken down I could repair it for more levels. The reason it would be more levels this time is because it's more enchantments on the iron pickaxe. So the higher the valuable it is, the more it's going to cost you in enchantment levels. So, well, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you want me to make more TU14 videos and you want me to keep making videos on it and all of the videos that have been and of all the items that have been confirmed so far because I'm going to be making videos of that soon. So please, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. Bye bye.